Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be going over the latest information that we do know about the Florida map of GTA 6. Now, you have likely heard that GTA 6 is going to primarily take place in Vice City, which is based on Miami, Florida in real life. Now, that is allegedly going to be only one part of the map that is going to be launching with the game. And on top of that, Rockstar is allegedly adding several parts from Florida and even south of Florida into the main map. So today we're going to be discussing the latest information that we do know about the GTA 6 map in the state of Florida because it seems to be a lot bigger than what we were originally expecting. So make sure to stay tuned because we got a lot of really good information to discuss today. But before we get into that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to share your support and subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day and wrap out to the actual video. Now, today's shout out goes to a really awesome trading card game known as Dust Collectors Champions Unleashed. Step into the mystical world of Serefia, where mythical monsters have been trapped and turned into thrilling collectible cards. Unleash the champions and become a card master in Dust Collector's Champions Unleashed. The game is easy to learn, quick to play, but hard to master. There are several play modes for every type of scenario, ranging from 1v1, 2v2, 1v1v1, and even 1v1v1v1. So whether you have two players or four or anywhere in between, there is a game mode that is specifically designed for your group. The card designs are absolutely stunning, they're easy to read, they look gorgeous, and the graphics within them are simply beautiful. Now, they will be launching on Kickstarter soon, so go ahead and click the first link in the description down below to sign up to receive a notification to take advantage of their launch discount when they are live on Kickstarter. So whether you're brand new to trading card games or you're an experienced player, go ahead and click the first link in the description down below to learn more about Dust Collector's Champions Unleashed today. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So one of the most exciting things that I know a lot of people, including myself, are looking forward to getting in GTA 6 is, of course, the new map location. Now, this is quite possibly the biggest upgrade for the game, because after all, the location of the game is pretty much everything when it comes to open world stories and online games like GTA 6. Now, we've known for a while now that Rockstar has been targeting Vice City, known as Miami, Florida in real life, as the primary location for GTA 6. Now, I say primary because after all, this is only part of the map and one of the big features that Rockstar is allegedly going to introduce with GTA 6 is the ability for players to experience an expanded map over time. So that means while Rockstar may launch with Florida first, they may expand into other states, cities, and maybe even countries in the further future. This of course will help the game keep the game fresh and new and relieve one of the major pain points from GTA 5. Now, in addition to Rockstar launching with Vice City, which of course is Miami, Rockstar is also allegedly adding other parts from the state of Florida. So just like how Rockstar has Los Angeles or Los Santos in GTA 5 and a massive area up top, it seems like it's going to be a very similar situation for GTA 6 with Miami at the bottom and then some other coastal cities up north and allegedly there may even be Orlando which of course includes several major amusement parks and allegedly Rockstar may be building at least one of them in GTA 6. Now, in addition to Orlando up north, there is also allegedly going to be an island or actually a collection of islands south of Miami, which of course is Cuba. 
Now, this is still a little bit up in the air. However, if we look at Rockstar's recent game, which of course is Red Dead Redemption 2, they actually did a very similar thing in that game where part of the story takes place on a remote island. So it's not entirely out of the question. I think the big thing is going to be whether it's actually going to be part of the map or it's just going to be in the story for a few missions. Rockstar also did the same thing at, in GTA V with having North Yankton being used for only two missions in the game. So it's not entirely out of the question. So those are kind of the three main locations that Rockstar will allegedly be launching with. You have Vice City in Miami, Florida as the main one. You're going to have some area up north with possibly Orlando and the surrounding areas. And then allegedly down south on a separate island, you'll have Cuba. So we're going to have to wait and see, but I think this will be a very interesting launch. And it's worth noting that while this does sound like a lot, which I'm sure it's going to be, Rockstar was allegedly planning to launch GTA 6 with other locations right out of the box. Now, right now, it seems like Rockstar is planning to just add those afterwards as DLC updates both for single player and online. However, even with the launch, it seems like we're still going to be getting a ton, and I really like how Rockstar is going to be kind of splitting the state into several parts. I think that's going to make the game just a lot more fun to play, and it's going to feel a lot more fresh and not just another rendition of Vice City, which Rockstar, of course, has done before. Besides that, the map as a whole is going to have all of the major improvements that we're expecting for the graphics and gameplay in GTA 6. So better draw distances, better and more realistic lighting with ray tracing, possibly even more realistic physics, and more. So all of this will of course be taking place across the entire map, but I think the big thing to look forward to here is just the addition of pretty much the entire state of Florida, allegedly, in GTA 6. Rockstar has never done a map this big before, never nearly as detailed as before, and I cannot wait to see that, and of course, the expansions that come over time. But let me know in those comments down below if you had to pick an international location for the GTA series to expand into over time, which would it be? Myself, personally, I think it would be really cool to have a DLC that takes place in Japan, maybe around Tokyo or any of those areas. I think that would be really cool for a GTA game, and Rockstar has never really done anything like this before, so I think that would be super cool to see in the further future. But let me know your thoughts and ideas in those comments down below, because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on the latest news surrounding GTA 6 and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video and subscribe down below if you haven't already those notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day. I'm sure I'll talk to you guys then.